Wow, this was beautiful. Ah, dang it, the camera's rolling, I gotta get to my seat. <sighs> okay, I'm here. Were you using a fidget spinner? Uh, yes, is there a problem? No, are we gonna use a video idea about it? Oh no, many plush YouTubers already got that fidget spinner idea, so we're definitely not doing that. Instead, we're doing Wayne Daffy Duck Homeschool 4. Um, you forgot to say howdy everybody at, you know. I almost completely forgot. Howdy everybody at Woody and Daffy Duck. Well, today we're gonna make Woody and Daffy Duck Homeschool 4. Yeah, it's been a couple months since we haven't make another homeschool video. Since you guys asked like, no, don't end it with three homeschool videos, make more. Well, guess what? Me and Woody are planning to make up to six homeschool videos. And leave the questions down below. How many homeschool videos do you want us to make? Like, how many? When do you want us to stop making it or just still keep on going after the sixth one? Do you think up to six is fine or nope, make more? It's up to you. It's for the fans. Yeah, you partners decide. But anyway, enjoy the video, everyone. Yeah, sorry for uploading this late. Well, this is our what we usually do in our lazy Sundays. Yep, usually watch TV and get bored. Huh? Hi, oh, pals. Huh? Who said that? It probably must be Mickey Mouse. Okay, if it's Mickey Mouse. Oh, I forgot to put Mickey Mouse away. I forgot to put my computer away from this. Wait, you name your computer mouse Mickey Mouse? Yeah, so it will make more sense. Oh, silly Willy! It's just me! And, well, it's been a while since we've seen you, so what's up? Oh, since summer is finally here, here's another thing I had to say. Uh -huh, that this will be the last day of this homeschool program. Are you serious? Nope, it's not a joke. This is the last day of the homeschool program of 2017. Well, actually, for this summer of the first year course since August 2016. Wait, you're saying no homeschool? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woohoo! 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 I had to tell the whole world about this! Wow, gee willikers, he seems excited. Woohoo! Hey! Homeschool's almost over! Let's celebrate! Mwah! Woohoo! <laughs> Do you hear me, world? Homeschool is over! Woo! Woo! This is the greatest day of my life! Come on, dance with me, Woody! I don't want to! Why? No homeschool! No homeschool! Why? Oh, aren't you happy, Woody? Oh, I'm not happy by the fact that you just throw me on the ground like an idiot, and I could be in serious some injury. Oh, my jaw. I'm sorry, can I help you out get back to the couch? Sure, I'm sorry. Ugh. Like I said, I'm sorry, Woody. I just got overexcited, guys. Um, that doesn't mean homeschool is gone forever. Wait, it's never gonna be gone or canceled at all? No, you enjoy the rest of your summer while we start the program again this September. So what do you say? Um... I'm just gonna be alone at this time. Oh crap, here we go again. <laughs> Why? I guess my dreams will never come true. No wonder the skies are gray from how this day is so depressing. <laughs> are you done crying right now like a moron? Say, oh, it's the end of the world. It's because homeschool's gonna come back. Well, guess what it happens to everyone? Everyone has school. Well, I both of you two have fun for the last day, and of course, enjoy summer, because, uh huh, you actually deserve all the rest and the relaxation you need. We sure do. <sighs> Why? Well, at least it's not until September. Okay, have fun, boys! Well, it's the last day of homeschool. Yeah, until we come back to September. Well, do you know what I wish homeschool can do? What? I wish they could pay us money every time that we work so hard. Yeah, very true. Hey, check out those cool dudes over there. Hey, bros, check out this cool fidget spin I have. Dude, I already have like over 25 out of them, so I pretty much see them before. T yeah, if nobody has one of these, that means they're losers who doesn't have any fidget spinners. Yo, I got my ball so we can just shoot some hoops, you know? Oh heck yeah, that sounds sick! Cool, I just want to be like those guys. Uh, Daffy, you remember that I said I just told you to play yourself, that's what. That's the only way to be cool. Yeah, I know, I know, Woody. Just, I just want to hang out with them. That's what I really much really want to do. 
Yeah, make sure they're not part of a gang or something. What makes you say that? It's because they do look like one. Yeah, I do see Popeye all the way over there, and I did kick his butt ones in fight night. So what are you gonna do, cool guy? Hmm. I just got a perfect idea. I will be right back. There, looks mighty fine if I'm gonna time travel next time. Oh, hey, Blue Toad. Oh, hey, Daffy. What you need? Oh, mind if I borrow your DeLorean? Why would you need it? Are you gonna use it for time travel? Um, absolutely not. It's just, I just need to impress some guys, of course. Take a look over the car since your car is so cool. Yeah, just don't tell them that it's a time traveling car because I want to keep it secret or else someone else will notice. Well, since it is a mighty fine looking car, I guess. Can I just borrow it? Yeah, and of course I'll pay you back something. I'll pay you a certain amount of money. Money? Ah, oh, thank you, Blue Toad. You really are a good friend. You just pushed me. I don't care. I'm just going to take the car. Oh, yeah. You boys are bad, man. You're playing the bro, just playing the bro. I'm playing the flow. Here's a master plan. I'm going to make your water flow. Howdy, partners. What you're trying to do? Vandalize the school property? Who are you supposed to be a redneck sheriff? <laughs> Technically, I am a sheriff. If you're trying to vandalize your property, you will be arrested. But we're not even doing anything. He's just like, he's just literally rapping. That's all. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Plus, rap is not illegal, homie. Well, I'm just going to find out if you guys could stay out of trouble. And I do have my trusty sidekick, Daffy Duck. Who you call it sidekick, Woody, with this big beast here I'm driving? Holy smokes. Whoa, nice, sweet ride, Daffy. Ooh, you do it mighty fine, duck boy. Why is everyone kept saying mighty fine? Yeah, that's right. I call this a Bolshevik 2018. Why do they call even 2018 if it's not even the time 2018? We're living in 2017, 88. I'm sorry, but that's how they want to name their cars. So deal with that. And this is all completely my property. Hey, Daffy! Can I be the first one to ride? I'll be your friend. Yeah, I'll promise that I will never fight you again. No, leave it to the cool rappers like me. Sorry, boys, but I only offer ladies in here. Oh, thank you very much for borrowing my DeLorean, Daffy. Uh, you're welcome. I knew it was the DeLorean all along. It looks familiar. You lying to us? Oh, man, you're a phony. Oh, yeah, Daffy, here's the money that I promised you. A dime? Really? Seriously? You gave me a dime? What the f is wrong with you? Language, Daffy. This is how much for taking care of a car like I'm some sort of a car babysitter and this car is like it was born yesterday and it has no relationship status, no body training, and no actual life. Uh, I won't get you a pay for this. Could you please get off my car? Okay, fine. I will get my revenge. Okay, but thanks anyway. Well, that idea did not work out. Nope, not at all. Let's just get to our class. Okay. Well, everything looks normal. Yeah, nothing bad is happening. <laughs> you guys gotta get to your classes because there's a fight happening. Okay, never mind. Something is bad is happening. So what are you gonna do? Just run away to just stand up and fight? Yeah, you're a dork, Porky. No, you should not be called Porky Pig. It should be Dorky Pig. Well, I'm Banana Sorry. I would rather be safe instead of get hurt. <gasps> Seriously, Porky's such a crybaby. Well, let's check what's going on. We can't just stand there. We gotta do something about this. Woody, wait! Huh. What are you gonna do what it takes, Skinny? Just like old times, fat soul. <laughs> oh no, not this again. I know, it totally sucks that they have to fight, but they're also brothers as well. Wait a minute, I realize that they have elf ears, so that means their parents must be elves. Or, their noses are so ugly, maybe their parents might be trolls. Or maybe it's both elves and a troll. Wow, Luigi! I'm sorry, guys. I tried. Nobody does that to our friend here. What you gonna do? Report me to the principal's office? 
No, we're gonna fight back. Actually, that would be a smart idea to just report to the principal's office. Stay out of my way. If you're gonna hurt my friends, you gotta get through me. <laughs> Look at you. You have no muscle. All you just have is a big head. You may be strong, but I have a bad mouth. Uh, you don't have the healthy body for those muscles. Hey, Popeye, I have a question. What is it? Does Mother know you wear of her drapes? Nope, it's all about the bod, the muscle. And don't forget, Maui has a fanny pack instead of a six pack. That is not groovy at all. Ah, uh, you guys are nerds. Well, guess what? All of us are gonna stand for a little while, Luigi, and of course, we're all gonna defend him. Because we're all gonna rise up for him. Oh, yeah? Then who's gonna stop me? <laughs> I guess this is the part where you run away. Ah! Stop of the day by the Galactic Alliance. Oh, oh, dang it, I just fell off. Stupid suit. You are coming with me. Oh, why does this always have to happen to me? Shrek, I'm surprised that you came in for the help. Uh, that's just what I do. I'm a hero, right? Not just an ordinary ogre. Thank you guys for defending me and standing up for me. No problem, partner. That's what true friends do. Thanks a lot, Shrek. You, I love your face. No offense, it's bigger than Wario's butt. Oh, um, thank you, I guess? I don't think that guy's handled the beat up me. Well, if I were you guys, I'll get to class so we won't get late. Oh, crap, we forgot about that! I'm coming! Alright, who's next for show and tell? Ooh, ooh, it's my turn. For my show and tell, I want to show you my inspiration. Michael Jackson. Here, Michael Jackson was my inspiration. The only thing that I recognize about him that his real last name is not Jackson. His last name is Michael Fatson. He got so fat for eating too much KFC. Okay, thank you very much, Taz. That'll be enough. Aww, I just want to tell people how Michael Jackson inspired people to put lip gloss on. Um, SpongeBob? Yes, Patrick? What is it? I'm having the trouble trying to spell my words. Well, what is the problem? Please tell me. Here, SpongeBob, I'll show you. I just put U R, and I know how to spell my best friend. Well, Patrick, this is why we are in school. To learn how to write and, of course, how to spell. Da! Okay, because I'm trying to learn how to spell my own name. Well, I hope this year for the school, I hope they teach us more a lot about science and the solar systems and the other planets out there in outer space. Oh, since when that you become smarter, Buzz, since the last time you were acting kind of bit, I don't know, dumb? Sorry, it's just that sometimes I have per troubles with my mind and voices that says, Go crazy, Buzz, I cannot control myself. Anyway, have you visit any planets recently? Oh, yes, I have. I visited Japan. Um... Japan is part of Earth. Not to me, it isn't. They speak a different language than English. Alright, class! Okay, since so today's last day of the homeschool program... <coughs> but we don't start again until September. <coughs> I know, I know, some of you like homeschool, some of you don't. But, for this last assignment for the last day of school, if you... Guys, want to have the opportunity back in September, if you want to become teachers in homeschool instead of students, you have to give me a full book report essay in 24 hours. 24 hours? Huh, Woody, we need to have enough time if we're going to become teachers in homeschool in September. Yeah, very true. Of course, I do want students to listen to me. A book report essay? That sounds boring. Oh, I thought we were about to do some driving school or boating school. Ah, oh, barnacles. Patrick, we might be in the wrong class. Oh, so it's not Spanish class? No, Patrick, it's not. Also, just in case, if you cannot handle work on the assignment alone, you can only choose one partner that you can work with. Um, Mickey, I have a question. Sure, Woody, go ahead. Um, if we choose our partners, does that mean both of us are going to be teachers during the next homeschool year course? Yes, that will happen! Well, challenge accepted. Kermit, your breast smells. Sorry, I just let Floyd do it to the cafeteria! Well, Patrick, you and me can work together. Yeah, really good idea. 
Like I said, for a reminder, you get 24 hours. If you don't get to turn in, you won't get any comp teachers for the next home school year, and then you're going to be holed back in many classes. I have one more question before we go. May I have everyone's attention? Yes, please discuss it, Patrick. Where's the bathroom? Oh, it's over there in the hallway by the kitchen. Oh, okay, thank you. <gasps> Come on, Daffy, let's get to reading. On with ya, buddy. But what the fuck can we find in this library case? Hmm, let's see here. Huckleberry Finn, Romeo and Juliet, Hunger Games. Oh, here we go. 21 Laws of Leadership. Hmm, that sounds like an interesting book. Well, let's just do it. Okay. All right, I already got the pencil and some sheet of notebook paper so we can take some notes while we do the book report. That's actually a smart idea. Well, those were the rules. Oh, then, never mind. Anyway, let's just get to reading this. Okay, chapter one, the law of institution. Psst, hey, Woody. I'm um, definitely we're supposed to read. Well, guess what? If I was teacher, I would tell people to not raise their hands, but also raise their legs so they can feel the pain. Ugh. Why would you want to do that? Is this yoga class or something? Well, it's something new instead of using your hands all the time. Okay, then. Hey, Daffy, look, it's highlighted. Maybe they could give us hints and clues from giving us the answers, and then we can just write it down here. But hey, at least it's better than cheating. Ow! Okay, I just bumped my head on the book. But anyway, yeah, at least it's better than cheating on a test, just like we did for math. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And of course, that annoying... A vision that Rosalina gave me. Oliver X, Woody! No! Because she wanted to get away from the farmer. Ugh, bad old memories. Hey, Woody, I found something in the book that we can write down. The laws of institution is based on the facts plus instinct plus other intelligible factors such as an employee moral, organizational momentum, and relational dynamics. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's write them down. Alright, after hours of trying to write this perfect and of course really well made, of course, book report exam that we're trying to make, what do you think of it, Waddy? Um, I think we did a pretty good job. All we need to do is just turn it into Mickey Mouse, then boom, we might be teachers for homeschool in September. Yeah, this could be our opportunity. <laughs> Hey, where did that Dalmatian come from? Hey, wasn't that the one that we almost run over while we were about to time travel? <laughs> hey, our exam! Quick, get after the dog! Especially, who let the dog out? <laughs> Give us back the paper! <laughs> oh no, make sure he doesn't turn her up! <laughs> he just wrote our book report. Get lost and never come back! Stupid dog. <sighs> well, that's just great. It's been ripped apart. Now what are we gonna do? We have to tell Mickey the truth. What? What are we gonna tell him? Oh, the dog just ate our homework? None of the teachers will ever believe that lie. Well, this time we are being honest. The dog literally just torn apart our assignment. Well, if we don't get the opportunity of the homework, well, the best way is to be honest and always tell the truth. Is because if you tell more lies, more trouble will come upon you. <sighs> Whatever you say so. And how many hours do we have left? Only five. Five hours? Oh, no. Oh, my mistake. Technically six. Okay, that's a little small relief. Oh, what'd your boys bring me? Well, it's a long story. We were doing a good job writing on this book report essay for two hours. Until then, there's this Dalmatian that came out of nowhere and tried to chew up this assignment. And of course, he tries to torn it apart. Until then, it's completely ruined. So I'm sorry that we failed you, Mickey. Hmm. I see. But guess what? You only have six hours left. So I'm gonna give you a second chance. Wait, really? You mean it? Of course, everyone deserves a second chance, because when you des get a second chance, you can fix the mistakes that you can done that set things right. Exactly, we are the one who can fix our mistakes, so thank you for giving us another chance, Mickey. You're welcome. Well, let's get back to this book essay because we're champions, and champions always finish from what they started. They keep on going. I like your thinking, Woody, but I'm sort of getting tired of it, so what can we do now? Maybe gets a little help. From us? Dad? Belle? What are you guys doing here? 
We're here to help you boys out. Yeah, because we'll do anything for you and we care about you guys. And let us help you. Thanks, guys. That really means a lot to me. Anything to make my son happy. Yep, that's right. Now let's do it, sugar. Oh, uh -huh, Daffy. She just called me sugar. Um, yeah, Rosie taught me a name. But what name did she call me? Oh, yeah, in case you noticed, me and Bill got a notebook sheet of paper. Yeah, so you can keep all of your notes instead of just one sheet of paper. I'm so glad that you two are part of my life. Come on, let's get to writing and reading. Now you're talking, Daffy. <laughs> Six hours later. Well, I guess we're pretty much done there. Yeah, thanks for the help, guys. No problem, boys. Anytime. All right, here's our book report, Mickey. Oh, thank you, boys, very much. Actually, you would be a good teacher, Blue Toad. Yeah, that's why I want to participate in this. Here's my book report with all the handwriting, which is called School for Dummies. School for Dummies? Yeah, that's what I choose. Well, that actually explains a lot why you want to read it, but... I'll take that. Okay, thank you. Ah, great. Now we gotta still stand in this line. Well, at least we made it just in time. I'm just gonna tell Porky something funny. Is it something to tease him? Yep. Oh, boy. Hey, Porky. What do you want? Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were about to say hello or anything instead of what do you want? It's just that you always try to scare me. Okay, of course, there's once this German school, and guess what? You're supposed to take care of these pigs, right? Um, yes? Okay, after that, one student just got an A-plus for killing the pig. Wait, what? Why? It's because turns out that pig was Jewish. Okay, Daffy, that sort of reminded me of SML. What makes you say that? from SML movie The Baby Problem where Junior Jeffy gets an A plus for killing a baby because it was a girl because Jackie Chu is Chinese. Huh, that does remind me of it. I, I don't want to go to Germany right now. Anyway, Porky, what's your full name? Porky P. Pig. Um, why can't you just give us the middle name instead of just the letter? Because the P is private. So it's Porky P. P. Pig? Ha ha ha. No, 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 wait, Porky Prava Pig. Docs, how dare you say something dirty? Oh, sorry, Bugs. I was about to say a clean joke, but turns out I ran out of soap and shampoo. But anyway, don't mean to hurt your feelings, Porky. We're just having fun. Okay, if it's just for humor, but if, if that's fine. But if it's just hurting my feelings, it's not fine. Oh, I'm next to the idiot line. Well, Mickey, we already fixed our mistake from writing everything in this notebook. Yup, and we read all 130 pages. And of course, we highlight where we find the context clues in this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very impressive. So, did you like it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sure. Now please, have a seat with everyone before I announce who will be the next teachers for September. Oh, okay. I hope it's us. Alright, attention everyone. Okay. I already got our first place winner, who will become teachers for our next homeschool program when it starts again. Bugs, hand over the envelope. Here you go, Mickey. Thank you. All right, and the winner is... What are you, Daffy Duck? You're that Daffy, we did it. Oh yeah, we're gonna be teachers. We're gonna be teachers. What? How? Aw, uh, don't be jealous. Just congratulate them. They did their best. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling for them to become future teachers. Congratulations, boys! You will write a 130-page essay in a notebook, finding context clues, and of course using the climax and of course the evidence of the story that you read. Well, thank you very much. I couldn't have done it without a little help from our friends. Yes! Now we don't have to deal with homework anymore. It's because right now we're going to give the students the homework. Yep! I'll see you guys again in September. Thanks, Mickey. Well, that's the end of the video, everybody. But remember that every time that someone makes a mistake and, of course, they're being honest and telling the truth from what happened from their mistake, always give people a second chance. It's because if you give them a second chance, they might have the opportunity and the chance, of course, to fix their problems. Yeah, sorry for making this video late. It's just that earlier it was raining outside. And of course, we we're trying to find a perfect weather until then when it was getting late at night. 
finally we got some weather where there's no rain at all. And of course, like what I said, of course, leave in the comments below how many homeschool videos do you want us to make? Do you want us to let us stop when we make to homeschool six? Or make more than six homeschool videos? It's up for you guys. It's because you we ought to know what our fans want as well. Anyway, that's all folks. Bye! Yeah, bye!